This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Let's bring on our next team. It's Volta Robotics 4116. Welcome in, guys. Remember you from last year, some great designs. Uh, why don't you let us know more about your team and uh, your progress so far? All right, hello. We are Volta Robotics, as said. And, and this is our current state of our robot for tonight. Uh, so as you can see, we are using a double four bar lift for our mechanism to get it up and into our buckets which is why, how we plan on scoring tonight. Uh, for picking up our elements, we are using this claw that we got graciously from Great Scott. Uh, and this is their old design, like from the way start of power play, uh, which will, is attached to a servo oh, that runs a, in a circular pattern. And then we have a linear servo to extend out to give us a final few inches upwards to reach our bucket. And then for movement, we are using the same drivetrain system we used last year, as that's our entire frame, because we found that our last year's robot is almost perfect for this exact challenge of reaching up high from a very low place, taking up high into high buckets. <laughs> Let's not decapitate me. So when you guys were looking at Robot Thirty Years, what made you want to choose to essentially use what you had last year and do some modifications on it? Like, what specifically was modified? So the modifications we made this year is mainly to our grabbing element. That is the main change we made, as our previous one would not work as, at all because it was made to take in disk pixels and could not pick up one of, of our specimens or whatever they're called. I forgot. Uh, and then it is attached on just a little bit longer of an arm, and then it uses the exact same lifting gear and chain. So what other uh, iterations are you looking at making on this robot, or any new other mechanisms you're looking at impl implementing? Uh, another mechanism that is currently in the works is a uh, wor no, not, uh, rack and pinion. Uh, for our uh, lifting up to get onto our low rung, uh, so that way we can get our second level ascent. Because right now, our hooks do not reach as it hits our very back of the robot first, but we're able to put it at an angle to get our hooks more or into place. That way, we can fully hang and fully lift off. So that is how we plan on it. We plan on using a low gear motor for as much torque as possible so that we can lift the full weight of our robot. Any other uh, progress for tonight? Like, what's the next thing you really want to work on immediately after this? Uh, I say the continuing of design and development for our lift-up mechanism. So a question in chat coming in uh, asking, uh, what do you hope to accomplish for autonomous modes? Uh, autonomous modes, we are still figuring out. We haven't put too much thought into that because as we want to focus on our physical development, but what we probably plan on doing is putting one block into our high bucket. All right, anything else you guys want to go over in, in terms of your robot or anything else you want to talk about? Um, so our robot can't really um, hang any, things with the, any specimens with the clips, so we plan to just put them in the buckets instead and leave the clips to our alliance partner. And this robot wise, uh, capable of scoring in the high bucket, you believe? Like, did you actually measure to make sure it's able to do that? Like, can we bring the robot over to the bucket and kind of see what that looks like? Yes. So yes, we did before test a little bit, uh, and it does look like it reached H's. We haven't fully scored yet, but we do plan on testing that pretty much right after this. As you can see, without our linear motor, we don't quite have the reach. It just about to get there. But once we do activate it, we are right there at it. And once we do have a block, 
we plan on grabbing it towards like a lower part of it and letting it fall in. Well, we can't wait to see how that progress looks so far. Anything else that you guys want to cover or talk about on your robot? No, that is that sums up our robot. Awesome. Let's give Volta Robotics a big round of applause for their progress so far. And if you're in chat, give them some hearts in the chat as well, too. Great job, guys. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com robits to learn more and order today.